but now there are significant signs that Assad might be on his way out. Uh, number one, the rebels are advancing. They have captured territory near the Turkish border uh, and then outside of Damascus, and now there is fighting in Damascus. Anytime rebels reach the capital, it is a really bad sign for the regime. You remember what happened when rebels reached the Libyan capital? Eventually we found Gaddafi running around the streets with something up his ass. Literally. You remember before he was killed in the streets, they did some interesting things to him. So Assad's got to be thinking, tick tock, tick tock. Uh, I've already read reports that he is trying to figure out where he would go in exile. You better figure it out quick, son, because they're coming for you. So first, uh, NATO Secretary General says the regime's collapse is only a matter of time. Now, NATO wants the regime to collapse. They're against the regime. So you might say, hey, you know what? Maybe it's just wishful thinking. They add further. In general, I think the regime in Damascus is approaching collapse. I think now it's only a question of time. So saying it over and over again, very clear, right? Now, when the Russians say that, you're in trouble. He's saying, unfortunately, it looks like the rebels are uh, making significant progress. But that's not all. The Russians are now beginning the pullout of all Russian citizens in Damascus and in Syria. Who are want to stay, stay, stay? Who are want to run, run, run? This thing's about to collapse. Now, I don't know how long it's going to take. The Russian foreign minister adds, hey, look, it, it could take a long time, and there could still be a lot of fighting. Your side could still lose tens of thousands, maybe 100,000 people. Do you really want to go through that? In other words, oh, let's do a peace deal right away because we're about to lose.